fear, no rain. Oi! Guys, welcome to the show. For this video, we are going to be constructing together a Kita Artisan 11 by 7 shed. Yes, this is a huge shed. And we're going to be putting it all the way over there on that tile slab. Now, if you guys want to know how we did that, make sure you check out the video from before. Link in the description below. But what we can see here is 200 kilograms worth of equipment. And so our trip today for you guys is to show you how we construct this. Two people, one shed, one slab. For this, I might need some manpower to help me. Whoa. Guys, so it's all unboxed. You pretty much have to unbox all of them. Box one has uh, the instructions. Box the two has a bit of the base. And box three has a bit of the base. And box one, again, that also has the screws. Now, you've mm -hmm. done a wonderful drop over here with the screws. I have, because I was finding it really hard to see what the label said on the actual box of the packet. So instead, I got a marker pen and I just wrote down on a piece of cardboard that came with the boxes, which one's which. And that will make it so much easier when we're going through this mammoth 63 page instruction booklet. Uh huh. What do you say, Ash? Are you ready? We, we are organized. We are. I'm raring to go. Look at, we've got windows, we've got plastic windows, we've got you know, the roof, we've got some stuff, we've got some beams over there. So, step one. Let's get the floor. Taking care of biz, biz. So there are four of these pieces. We're gonna bring them all over, then we're gonna attach them together. First step, Ash, is that we need to put these two together and slide them in, and then we put those two together, and then we attach them all on once. So we say these two. So one, two, needs to slide into each other. All right, perfect. I've got... This is a drill driver. You're meant to use an automatic screw. However, with this drill driver, you have different different speed settings. So I'm going to go on the lowest speed because if you go too fast, it's going to thread through the plastic. Yes. Essentially, you just clip them into place. If you just help me push that bit forward and I'll push on my side. Now I put in four screws. So one, two, three, four. And I'll give you those screws and you can get going. This is SC15. Great, Ash, now that's done together, we're going to push these two closer together and we're going to do the same with the screws. So you push on your side, push on my side. There's a clip also on this side. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. There well you done. go. You good? Yep. When you lift it ever so slightly, it actually goes in better. So we've been playing around with the different sides that work. It's not 100% flush, but I guess what we do is we'll lock it into there. I just, when you kick it, it goes right in. So we'll put a screw into there. And then once that's in, we'll, put, we'll kick this one and put a screw into there. Yeah. And then hopefully it'll be flush. Let's start with that side first, because that side's really good. Okay, so if you just hold it from your side. Yeah, we'll do. And I'll just kick it. Yeah. Push forwards. In. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, we got a base. We're done. Time for a tea break. I don't want a tea break. All right. So next up, we need to create a corner for the shed itself. Now, we've got OLPC times one, which is this one here, which actually bends. So we're going to bend that one into shape to make the corner. And then we need to attach it to OLP7 times one, which is the wall side. That's very exciting. So we're going to take those over. Then we're going to get the few screws that we need. And we're going to get going. So we're going to now can start constructing the actual walls of the shed. Now, you'll see this one is OLPC. This one actually bends in half to accommodate the 90 degree of the corners. So I'm just going to do this and bend it, which is what you're supposed to do. So don't worry, I'm not breaking it. And put it inside in the corner like so, like that. So next up, Ash is going to come in with his first side panel and we're going to place it over here. You just hold it stiff from the bottom. All right, so we get a little clip like this. And if you look at the top here, there's a little kind of like ridge pattern. You should put in the clip like this. And there you go. Clipped into place. And then you have to screw it. Screw it. Mm -hmm. Got a screw. We're going to be actually screwing into this uh, gap here. It doesn't look like a hole. We're going to be making a hole with a screw. So I got it on the lowest torque setting. And good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. 
happy. Yep. All right, next wide panel coming up. Ooh. Hold the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. All right, so I guess it's just the same, same again. Okay, so I've got the responsibility of putting the clip in. So as you can see over here, I'm just going to push it in, keep it locked in and secure. All righty, what's next? Let's have a look. Another panel now? I guess so. I think Basically, it's... you just panel C. Right now, it's time to secure this baby in to itself. Yeah, I can see the room. <laughs> That's awesome. We're in the little room. Okay, so now we've got to make another corner ash. We'll make a corner there and then we build up and make a, and then we build up from here as well. Let's do yeah. it. So we've made light work of this. It has been fairly easy. Once you get into the rhythm of it, you kind of lock it in, tongue and groove, hammer it down. We use a mallet, which actually is a lot easier but just be careful you don't ruin the architecture of the top of the grooves and uh, literally it's taken us probably 20 minutes just to put the walls up and the corners and it's been kind of enjoyable so far I've, I've got into it so Ash is putting in the last corner now because yeah that's it that's it two more corner one more corner left and then we just have to decide what our configuration is going to be for the door so we've got two more wall panels and whether we're going to have the door over here in the center or on the end we don't know so for the front corners here two people was advised one of us at the bottom pushes it in and the other one hammers it down from the top. So I'm just making sure that it fits into this groove here. Ready? Yeah, go for it. There we go, we're in. Okay, so for this particular panel, because it's shorter, you have to put two screws in, which is good because the bottom actually requires a bit of extra support. So make sure when you are screwing it in, just leave it a bit of a nudge with your knee. Last two, last two, last two. Last two. Last From this day forth, we'll be inside our shed. Yo, day two. Let's get ready for biz biz. Let's, Let's get, get ready for biz biz. Let's, Let's get, ready. get ready for biz get ready. biz. Get ready. Now I've and got a secret biz. weapon today. What's that? You ready for this one? Yeah. I am officially <laughs> tried. Tried. So we're gonna get this done. Job done. Yeah. We've got two more hours of sunlight. Yes. Hopefully we're gonna get it done then. So well, what's next, boss? The good news is we're on number 27 of 77. So biz, we are. Biz. Halfway. Biz, 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 biz. Yes, sir. Biz. Now, this is the fun part because now that we constructed the walls, basically what we have to do is do the footstep going in. All right, looks like we got one of these little steps. So I guess the step is going to go around here. Yep. Perfect. And then D N E D E S. There should be two holes that we can screw it into. So you pretty much just like Lego, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, well thanks. done, that's awesome. So now it's the fun time. We're going to go hang out in the sun because it's warmer over there and we're going to start assembling the windows. Business. Now, the great thing about this set is that everything is labeled and it's inconspicuously labeled. So it is super easy to find out which piece you need for what. What I've got here now, Ash, is the two window pieces we're going to be putting together, um, which are the NELT and the NEBLT. And I've actually arranged them. Yes, exactly. You can see it right there. So I've arranged them as to how we're going to attach them together. So it just clips on. Yeah. All right. It's the first one. Woohoo! <laughs> where the screw goes. One there, one there, one up there. So let's rinse and repeat. <laughs> Alright, actually, we've got the next step, which is the windows. Now, what we need to do is we actually need to put the um, adhesive stuff, which is um, provided, which is this stuff over here, which is basically just a foam to keep out any cold air. Now, it looks like we have to apply it. This is actually the, the best part of the whole show because it's so easy to, you can't really go wrong. And then you're going to screw it. Just screwing it in. Very, very easy. Very, very nice. Feels really good screwing stuff around. Actually, you know, I was a bit, a little bit overwhelmed with doing this bit, but gotta say, once Nora started doing it, I got jealous and I wanted to jump in and play. Let's do it. 
I fear no rain. I guess we gotta do the same for the next one now, yeah? Yeah. All right, we're putting it on the sides. Do you know how to put it on? This is it. No. Okay, so the, the bigger, uh, yeah, big yeah, aspect to that side. It just goes on. Mm -hmm. Just like you put it on the bottom, you put it on the top. So you want to put the back first? Put back the first? Out. Yep. Okay, and I'm just holding it for you. Oh, I got the front corner. And you just stretch I'm it. I'm supporting in. it. Does it look good? Track wise? Um, yep. Yeah, you just, just have to push it in. Oh, that's really cool. It's got ventilation as well. I like that. You can see the other side. This is too easy. And the back's in as well. Watch your fingers. Yep. Looks awesome. So exciting. So next up, we just got to make the back portion over here and then we're going to put the roof on, which is super exciting. Come on, let's get to work. So this is called the NERD. <laughs> the N-E-R-D. You start from the right to left. Good luck, you baby. You go up on the ladder. Slots in. So easy. Yep. And then you should be able to screw one over there. Yep. With that one. Okay, so now that we've got the back supports of the shed done and dusted, it is now time to put some steel reinforcements into the shed to make it nice and sturdy. Although I have to say it is sturdy, but it could be much more sturdy because if there is a strong wind, it will probably blow over. So we're going to have a central beam over here, which is going to go straight down and we're going to lock it in with some uh, screws. And we're going to have another central beam behind me this side and one on that side. So we're going to go ahead and get going. <laughs> Bracket towards the top. Like this? Yep, that's the one. All right, now it's time to put some steel into this shed to make it nice and tight and set up the framing for the roof. Yes. Again, two at the top. Are you sure making new holes? Yep, goes to the middle ones. New holes? Yeah. All right. now, it does feel interesting making new holes, but it is what it is. And it's kind of like an indent for the hole there. And you kind of have to raise it slightly. And even when you plug it in, there's still a bit of wonk on the bottom. But I guess we're going to be putting more holes in as we solidify it. All right, what's next? Next up, we can put some brackets to help it support. All right, so the bracket goes, slots in like this. And you kind of squeeze it in the middle so it fits in. And then you can see on the side here, the hole should align. And then you get the bolt and you slot in. You can it up the other side like that and you screw it into the frame. This is tricky. Might have to use a screwdriver for this one. So I couldn't fit my drill driver in there so I'm going to try a normal screwdriver. Okay guys, so the next step is to construct the middle beam that's going to go across those brackets that we just diligently screwed in. So what we have to do is uh, make some space in the shed and then we can attach it together. So we need to pop this part over here, it slots in, and then we put nuts and bolts, yeah. We definitely want that one. And we're just gonna do the same for the other side as well. Yep, yep, you good? All right, guys, look at that. We officially have a frame right there. It looks good. So you're putting in some these guys. Bolts. Yep, and we're going to place them into um, these brackets here. Oh, cool, we're doing more window work. We could, I want bro. it. I want it. Go and do it. Oi! <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. All right, boss, the next thing is we need to get our next window set up. So what we have to do is slide this piece into this hole over here. And is it out the other side? Not yet. There we go. And there is a hole that you should align so you can screw it. There we go. Perfect. So basically, Ash, all I need you to know is one, two, and three. Superb. So we managed to pop over to Bunnings and get some more weather seal for the windows because we decided, you know what, rather than just doing one aspect, why not go around the whole window just to doubly make sure that we're winning. We're going to do it properly. Yeah. And we've got the good stuff. We have. This one is also water resistant, heat resistant, or cool, you know, it's got all the resistance. It's got everything. Maximum it's power. <laughs> Set 
attach the peripheral windows to the main window and it's but this is slightly different if you're doing a different configuration so we are going for a doors in the middle kind of scenario so we're going to be putting the small windows on either side but of course if you want to do a bit differently you can put two windows on one side and vice versa so you just match up the three holes with the three holes on this side so i'm just getting the hole to line up so it requires me to nudge this inwards a bit like that Ah, right, there you go. Lovely. I thought it was going to fall to pieces. But we have to first put two brackets on. So that one goes like so. And here. And then screw them in. Beautiful. That is a lot more solid and uh, stronger now. So next up, we have to get two steel reinforcements to put either side of the door so that we can attach our beautiful freshly made window on the top panel. So Ash, I need you to carry that for me. Okay, so it goes on the edge of the door like so. Oh, like inside that. like this? Yes. Oh, hey. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Whoa, it's really tall. I know. <laughs> All right, that's cool. That's awesome. So screw in. Not yet. Okay. Now we have to go and grab our beautiful window that we just made. And two people are going to carry it together and we're going to slot it actually into this frame. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So we're going to be screwing the fixings in. I'm just nudging it up so the lines, the holes align. So you just got to use your fingers and just squeeze it in like that. And that'll make it nice and tight. It's time to screw them in. You know, maybe we can just put some perspex and just have a sunroof, <laughs> that would be like awesome. a Tesla. Might be really hot though, isn't it? So it doesn't tell you this in the manual, but what I'm going to do, just based on my judgment, I'm going to put one screw on the bottom left, then I'm going to put one screw on the bottom right. And then I'll do the middle, and then the middle, and work my way that way. So that way it doesn't go too much on one side. Just need two people for this one. I'm going to be holding it nice and taut, and you're going to get in the hole. Just a little tip for you guys, when you do come to this screw, you do have to just take care of where the bar is sitting, because what, right now the bar is too low. So what you do is just lift it up a little bit, and then realign it. There is a hole in this steel bar, and you just basically use those holes, realign them together, and screw it in. I'll do the next one whilst you screw it. Next up, we've got to make sure we put on the NERA pieces, which are basically just the support for your central beam, which is also going to support your roof. And it's really important to take note of the configuration. So you want the longer aspect. You can see here that there's a short and there's a long aspect. So the long aspect goes towards the front of the shed and the short towards the back. And as you can see, there are two holes here. Now, obviously, it won't fit into this. It's too wide, but it will fit here. And then the same with this as well. There's two holes here. All right, looks good. What's next? Okay, so we have to go and get the, the steel planks for the roof, and then essentially we get the planks and we screw them into this, into the frame. Let's go and grab them. Oi, mama. <laughs> oh, this is cool. So I'm not going to fully screw that one in. I'll fully tighten it once I've got them all in, just in case I need to give it a bit of wobble to fit in the rest. Ole! <laughs> Wow, and just like that, we are on number 54. We're almost done. <laughs> the roof, the roof, the roof is not up yet. Ash, Ash, what's wrong? I'm upset. Why? We've almost finished building the sheds. But that's a good thing. No. Why? I love building the shed. Yeah, but, yeah, but Ash, if we finish building this one, you know what we can do afterwards? What? We can build another shed. No, I checked. The Queensland government says you can only have one shed. Yeah, but our neighbour's got six and no one says anything about him. You mean we might be able to build another one? Yeah. All right, what's next, Captains? All right, well, this is really exciting because the next thing we're going to be doing is erecting the roof. So, Ash, I need you to give me one and we're going to put one on each side of the roof. Let's go. Now, really important to make sure that the outer side faces this thick area here and this one goes on the inner aspect. Essentially, we're just going to go and slide it on here and I'm going to go on the top and see if I clip it into place. All right, so what we're doing over here is we can see there's a little latch here and this is my piece and it's basically just going to slide underneath it. I'm going to slide it back and make sure that we've got a bit of an overlap because that's going to form the basis of the root. There we have it, nice and 
Snug goes all the way back. Now it's time to do the other side. Are you done it? Oh, well done. This is the top. This is the bottom. So if you just get the leather, I'll slide it into you. Okay, cool. So you can lift this up and you just tessellate it onto this one over here and then obviously push it down. Perfect. Now we just repeat the rest for five more and then we put the locking brackets in. Now I can see Ash is beaming. I need to switch over. These little brackets, they need to be in the back of the slates. So I'm just going to nudge all the slates a bit forward and then I'll put these in and screw them in. So let me just show you. Forward. You can see there's two screw holes just there. So this bracket goes in to the hole here, the middle one, the big middle, the middle one, like that. And then when you push this in, it should line up with that screw hole. Now that the roof is kind of securely on, we're going to put some more screws in soon. We've got to now attach the front side so we can cover up that not very attractive looking area. And for this, they give you four pieces, which is really simple. Um, you just put them together like so, and then you just screw in each side together. Ready, Bob? I was born ready. Bend in the middle. How's it looking outside? Yeah, just need to do in the middle. All right, it's a bit dark in here, but we got to put 13 screws into 18 holes. And because it's so dark, got a little light. The rightmost one, a bit tricky, so I'm using just a standard screwdriver for it. So all my job is right now is I'm pushing from the outside whilst Ash is screwing in. It just helps give it that nice tight bond. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Okay, now, oh my God, it's more screwing. So right now, all we have to do is we need to um, secure the roof to the metal uh, brackets that we've got. Now for this, we need 40, 40 screws. Yes, 40. And you're gonna have to be busy because you start from the back. You start from the front, then you go to the, to the back. There's no pre-existing holes in this, so we're making new holes. Good? Yeah. All right, we've got four more on this side, four more on that side. We're doing the final edges, locking nice and tight. Nora's on the outside, looking good. Look gorgeous. Thank you. So you can see there's a little indent there. Hello. There's a little indent Hi. there. Hello. There's a little indent there. And there's uh, four along this side and four along that side. Oh, goodness me. Just when you thought the screw was over, there's more screws to be had. So now we have to do 30. <laughs> Where? What are we doing? What are we doing? So right now we need to secure um, this kind of the outer upper frame all the way around. So each of the sides. So just all of these holes, is that it? Basically, all yeah. All of these holes around here. Yep, in, in the gaps. There are lots of gaps apparently. Yeah, I see that hole there. These, these ones. So now that we've almost constructed this shed, it is time to put on the doors. And for this, we're going to need to come inside and get the brackets ready to affix the doors so we can say, get out of here. Now, what I've done here is I'm just getting the brackets ready. So these just need some screws from the back going through the front. Get the screw, thread it through this little tiny hole and then screw it in. Okay, so right up now, Ash, we've got to get the doors ready for their positioning onto the brackets. So we'll need to turn these upside down so that the smooth side is facing towards the top. The bits with the groove is the outside mm -hmm. and the non-groove is the inside. Correct. That makes sense And we me. want it to point upwards towards the sky. So let's drop it down like you have got now. Wonderful. Yep. Okay, so now that we've got these NUHFs, we've got to place it on the door that has the handle. So that's the hole in the um, in the center of the door. And we're placing one at the top and one at the bottom. And it will be the third space from the um, inner aspect. 
and just push it in. All right, this is the other side. Shove it in. And yeah, there you go. Great job. Now we've got to put those brackets that you so diligently made on either side of the doors. So the longer aspect is actually going to go on the interior side of the door and the shorter on the outer side of the door. This is any DSO. Perfect. So that will go on the outer aspect of that one. Yep. Well done. So now we're just going to do the same for the other door. Next up, we need to get the stoppers for the doors, which basically comprises of two pieces, this piece and this piece. And essentially what you need to do is place this piece first and then this one on top and screw it into place. Yeah, so Ash, now we've got to put 14 screws just to hold the frame onto the door. So next up, we're going to put the hinges on and worked out that you attach this area, which is the bit that dips in, onto the door and it points outwards. The next step is to attach onto the door. And I think we should probably try doing that because there are some hinge brackets in place. I'm excited. Yeah. Basically, Ash, you want to just slot it into... Okay, so <laughs> the sun has set, but the great thing is, is that we have one door. Ah, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Good job. So I'm just going to be lining up the hinges to these little brackets over there. There you go. All right, let's see if they line up straight. Looks good. Looks all right, looks all right. Almost. All right, so at this stage, the doors don't line up 100%. We're going to get to that in a future stage. But for now, we just need to put on the door handle first, and then we can fix the adjustment, which is going to be like a little screw that goes around there. Okie dokie, it is time for the handle application. I'm quite excited about this. I've got all of the pieces in my hand, and it does distinctly say what's what. So, Ash, I'm going to just hand things over to you as we should be doing them in the correct order. The first thing you need to do is put in one of these little, um, what are these called? Nuts. Okay. Nuts inside here, inside this area here, because when we put the screw in, it's going to go through that and it's going to feed through. So Ash, this needs to go in. You've got to also have this one coming through. That's the cookie monster. Pop that one in, the handle. And then you want to be putting this piece in with um, this aspect facing towards you and the flat side towards the door. And finally, you want to put one of these lovely screws in through your side and it should just catch onto the bolt and then secure into place. Hold it at a right angle. So what you want to do first, Ash, is put through one of the um, holes in through the top side first and then you attach it to this gap over here. Beautiful. And you do the same for the bottom aspect as well. Perfect. Hey, it's coming <laughs> together. Then, no, it's so exciting. And now, Ash, you want to be putting this um, this way towards the door pointing towards the door. <clears throat> Officially, it's a nice it's handle. So nice. It's a nice oh handle. God, it's, so nice. it's a nice handle. It's, gorge. it's a it's nice gorge. handle. It's gorge. I there love you it. Go. Sturdy. Sturdy. And that one's straight, so this one just needs adjusting there. Yes. So officially, we should actually be securing the shed, but I think that we should just skip let's, that one let's and do this one. the yes. So if you follow me, I will tell you how to adjust these doors because they are pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So you have a friend outside who will tell you what they want you to do. But essentially, if you just come and have a look here, I'll just show you the premise of what we're doing. So the idea is that there is this frame over here, which essentially controls the door. And you can shift it left and right. And you'll have this bracket here, which will affix the frame into the base. And as soon as Ash is happy that the doors are nice and sturdy, I'm going to be popping in my screws and I'm going to fix it into place so that we are happy and making sure that the door's level. Right now, this makes it really wonky. And if I just pulled it out a little bit, it makes it a lot straighter. Push it a bit more. Yep, that's looking good. Wonderful. What we need to do, because the doors are grating at the top, we need to try and push this. This is the next step on, is that you actually have to secure the frame with these screws. So we're gonna just do preemptively. Do this part first, pull back the frame, and then hopefully our doors will follow suit. When you're ready, I'll pull, I'll screw. You ready? Good. Uh, still touching. So maybe I'll push this side in and try making it a bit wider that way. Bit of difficulty because 
the material here, the plastic here, doesn't actually line up with the bracket. See, he only goes halfway in. So we have to be lucky with that one. It's perfect, I like that. All right, that's, a, that's as wide as it's gonna get. Let's see what we've done. Oh, that's it. We just did about, it. just about, Yay. yeah. It's yeah. done. Yeah. Hey, good work, good work. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be impossible, but we did it. It's all so perfectly aligned. All right, so you do get a second bracket. This one's slightly wonky, just in case you haven't, you know, got a straight base and your shed's totally wonky. For us, luckily, we just managed to use the, the straight one. All right, what's next? Okay, these two screws. Now they are gonna go to secure this frame from the outside and they're going into the holes. This one here, the one with no hole. Yeah. Okay, so it's this little U bracket there and we're gonna be making a hole with this screw and it'll just hopefully lock it all into place. We now need to secure the internal door frame, which we kind of did already, which was the two screws that we did on either side. And we also now need to affix this plate on the floor, which is this one here. Now there are eight screws, Ash, that we need to do. We've just got to do now 34 screws across the outer rim of the shed to secure into place. Well, that's it, your shed is now complete. We're happy, we're gonna go inside, hopefully make a baby in there. And uh, hope you guys found this video useful. And enjoyed the show, come on. Close the door. No peeking. Last two minutes. I fear no rain. Oi!